it's not something that someone can say that someone had another definition or opinion about this name. It is what it is. For 25 years, Native Americans had fought in court to cancel the D.C. football team's trademark, saying it was disparaging to the indigenous population. For Piscataway Elder Rico Newman, it's been personal. Maybe 10 years ago, I had spoken with a delegate who was absolutely amazed to find out that Maryland still had in its regulations or its laws from the colonial period for the, what the payment would be for scalps. And that those scalps had to come with flesh and red skin. Not long ago, owner Dan Snyder vowed to never give up the name. But many insiders now say change is inevitable thanks to the Black Lives Matter movement and its quest to rid the country of disparaging mementos. As sponsors pull merchandise from shelves, the team now says it will review its name. You've asked for it to be removed, to be changed for many, many years, and even brought it to court, and it hasn't happened. What's changing now? Money. <laughs> Newman says it's all about the bottom dollar. That it can't be just about what's happening with one ethnicity and not consider what is happening with another. So it's got to have some impact on the Native Americans, on the issues that impact on them, as well as it is with the African American community, the Asian community, etc. Uh, but again, it took until it became dollars and cents that people are starting to give some sense looking at it and understanding the impact, the negative impact that it has on our community.